It's a really good question to think about fearlessness. We work with patients and researchers and doctors in a pretty scary area in brain cancer. And so I don't want to be the least bit flippant about this. Um, I don't feel fearless. I worry all the time that we're not moving fast enough, that we're not doing the right and best things, that we could always do better. It's what keeps me awake at night. But then I think about the quote that John Wayne used about courage, that courage is being scared and then saddling up anyway. And in my view, that's how I see fearlessness, that we work with those folks, we do our right and best thing, we saddle up anyway. I think about times when I would see ABC Squared as acting in a fearless manner. And it really comes when we will step in and do things that other people aren't willing to tackle, that we have brought drugs to the market, working with pharmaceutical companies at points in time where nonprofits just didn't do such things. What we knew was we had patients counting on us and there were no rules. Our whole approach is to recognize there are no rules, our duties for our patients and for our friends and for our families, and you, you do what you can do. That's how I think we act in a fearless way. I'm a little scared in this world of fearlessness to be giving advice to other nonprofits. I'm a bit of a cowboy. Uh, but I see so many nonprofits seek safety, and they seek safety in decision making. I'd like nonprofits to absolutely fully embrace the idea of leadership, that they have confidence in themselves and can step out. And if they make mistakes, those are learning moments for them. That doing the right and best thing quickly and decisively is a lot better than waiting months or years for the safest of all decisions. The inspiration for ABC Squared actually comes from our founders. Um, one of the great guys in the building of Silicon Valley and the financial communities in San Francisco was Dan Case. His friends said that Dan could see around corners and they loved him, that he just really had a pivotal role in building Silicon Valley. And when he was at the absolute top of his life, um, running Hamburton Quist, merging it with JP Morgan, becoming chair and CEO, Dan came down with brain cancer. And rather than just shrink his life and nurse the last few months, Dan went ahead and formed ABC Squared and created a model that would live beyond him. And it was his fearlessness that inspires our organization.